and good morning i yash hanshani welcome you all to this video lecture series of class 9 mathematics we are going to start with class 9 chapter 1 number system and we would be proceeding with doing each and every exercise of ncert books and rd sharma so let us start by having a brief introduction about numbers okay what are natural numbers natural numbers all counting numbers from 1 2 3 4 5 till infinity are natural numbers now let us see what are whole numbers whole numbers when we include zero also okay we are including zero then 1 2 3 4 5 other than zero all natural numbers are included in whole numbers okay now let us see the third classification it is integers now what are integers integers are negative numbers zero along with positive numbers okay so in this whole all natural numbers whole numbers are included but not negative numbers okay now in integers we have negative zero and positive now the our chapter deals with rational numbers okay what are rational numbers rational numbers any number which can be represented in the form of p upon q where q does not equals to 0 okay here p upon q i mean to say that it it can be represented in the form of fraction okay and p and q here are co primes okay that means they have hcf1 or i can simply say that p upon q is in simplest form okay now see One is a rational number. It can be represented in the form of one upon one. Two is a rational. Two by one. Three by one. Okay. But when we have zero in the denominator, for example, five upon zero, this is a irrational number. Okay. When zero is there in the denominator, the number becomes irrational. Okay. Now let us start and start solving the first exercise of our NCERT book, and let us see. Which question does it deal with? Okay, the first question which we have is is zero a rational number? Yes. So answer for this is yes. Zero is a rational number as it can be represented in the form of zero upon one, zero upon two, zero upon three, zero upon four. Each of them has a value zero. Okay. So yes, we can say. Zero is being represented in the form of p upon q, where q does not equals to zero. It satisfies the equation of a rational number. Thus, zero is a rational number. The next question is, find six rational number between three and four. Okay. I would be telling you two ways to solve this question. Okay. We need six rational numbers between three and four. See, we know that we are having three point one, three point two. 3.3, 3.4, and so on. Different numbers between 3 and 4. So how can 3.4 be represented in the form of p upon q? Remove this decimal and place a zero. Remove this decimal and place a zero. And remove decimal, place a zero. Okay. Now it is represented in the form of p upon q, and it lies between 3 and 4. So you can have multiple numbers. Between any two numbers. Okay. Now the second is the standard way, or you can say. It is the logical way that average of three and four must be lying between both of them. So three plus four divided by two. It is seven by two. Okay. So seven by two must be lying between three and four. Then what? Finding a number between these two. What you have to do? Just find the average of these two. Okay. How can you do that? Three plus seven by two divided by two. It is six plus seven. Thirteen by two. Into two, it is thirteen by four. Okay, so three, thirteen by four, seven by two, and four. We have got two rational numbers. It is a time-taking process. Okay, what you have to do? Simply remove a decimal and make it in the form of p upon q. It would be more convenient to you. I have told you both the methods, which you feel suitable, you can solve by. Okay, now the next question is we have to find. How many rational numbers we have to find? Five rational numbers between three upon five and four upon five. See, first way uh, is that 
we know that 3.1 by 5, 3.2 by 5, 3.3 by 5, 3.6 by 5 or any number okay 3.4 we have plenty of numbers what you have to do just remove this decimal place as 0 just remove this decimal place as 0 remove decimal place as 0 remove decimal so you have plenty of numbers you have to write only 5 we have many more okay or the next way what we can do is that uh, see multiplying 10 on both numerator and denominator multiplying 10 it is not going to make any change to this question so what we have we have 30 upon 50 and 40 upon 50 okay so numbers which you can place is 31 upon 50 32 upon 50 33 upon 50 34 upon 50 till 39 upon 50 for example if you need many more see in this case we are going to have nine rational numbers between them so what you can do instead of 10 you multiply 20 okay what you would get you would get here 60 upon 100 okay here you get 80 upon 100 so from 61 to 79 upon 100 we are having here 19 rational numbers so this is the way how you can insert many more rational numbers okay this is the first method this is the second and one i have told you finding the averages and placing in between okay so i have told you three methods to write rational numbers between two given numbers okay which method you feel like is more suitable you can do that okay now the next question is true or false first every natural number is a whole number see what are natural number one two three four five till infinity what are whole numbers whole numbers are zero one two three till infinity see every natural number is included in whole number okay so this one is true every natural number is a whole number but if converse is being asked is every whole number a natural number so converse would be false okay because zero is included in whole numbers now the next is is every integer a whole number see for integers we have negative numbers zero and positive numbers but in whole numbers we only have zero and positive numbers negative numbers are not included so this means this is false okay every integer is not a whole number now next is is every rational see rational is a classification of integers Anna? natural includes integers also fractions also but in whole number we have only zero and positive numbers so this is also false as integers are only included in rational numbers 5 upon 7 could be a rational positive it is but it is not a whole number okay so we have two reasons that integers one is example is what integers or any positive fraction okay i i hope that you find this video helpful do like and share my video okay if you haven't subscribed my channel subscribe it press the bell icon for more updates okay thank you <laughs>